Hello everyone and welcome back to another MAC chess game by Paul Morphy and in this chess game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is Augustus Mongredian who was a leading British chess master at the time. So this is from a match between Mongredian and Paul Morphy. The first player to score the seventh win was going to be victorious in this match. Paul Morphy scored the seventh win against Mongredian when Mongredian scored his no win. <laughs> Uh, Paul Morphy defeated Mongredian 7 to nothing. A crushing defeat for Mongredian, and this is the sixth game from that match. So let's see what happened. Paul Morphy has the white pieces. He starts the game with e4, e5, developing the knight, and we have the elephant gambit by Mongredian. Pretty rare stuff, especially in nowadays. e4, pinning the pawn, and then queen to e7, knight to d4, queen down, knight. To b5, developing the bishop and then pushing to the pawn. Queen back, c4, bishop check, defending, exchanging, and it looks like Paul Morphy is attacking the e pawn. First attacking the knight and then defending the pawn, and Morphy castled from the queen side. Look at the pawn structure of Paul Morphy. It looks interesting, isn't it? So knight to f6, rook over. So centralizing the rook and black also castled, pushing the pawn, pushing the pawn and black is naturally attacking from the queen side, exchanging the pawns and then Paul Morphy is simply breaking uh, the center. So Paul Morphy in this position could push the pawn. So king over and then bishop up, bishop up, knight takes on f6, queen takes on f6 and now in this position Paul Morphy played a very strong move. Uh, what would you do in this position? Morphy is attacking the queen. So after queen to d8, Paul Morphy simply captured the rook, but it looks like black is capturing back and black is fine. So what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Guess the next move of Paul Morphy. Paul Morphy played another very strong move. And after that move, black resigned. It is that simple. So what would you do in this position again once again this is a very critical question if you had the white pieces so i'm going to wait for only a couple of seconds if you need you can also pause the video it is white to move and win well paul morphy played queen to b4. Did you see this move? What a move. What a move by Paul Morphy. And Augustus Mongredian resigned because of this continuation. Was Paul Morphy drunk? Why did he play queen to b4? Isn't this just simply losing the queen? Unfortunately, black has a back rank issue. Rook to e8, check. Only defense and then capturing the queen. Check, mate. So this is why after queen to b4, Augustus Mongredian resigned. If you play something like queen to g8, then simply capturing the bishop, and this is all over for black. Black is two pawns down, and also black is a piece down. So in this position, if defending the bishop, what happens then? This is both defending the queen and defending the bishop. Can you see the best move for white? Let me give you a couple of seconds. Then white simply captures the bishop. Queen takes on b7. And if queen takes queen, then here comes another back rank issue for black. Rook to e8. Check. Mate. What a fantastic, incredible finish by Paul Morphy. And did you see queen to b4, double threat. What a move. What a move by Paul Morphy. Aesthetic, elegant and beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.